Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's resume our discussion on microbiology and infectious diseases. In previous videos, we talked about anthrax. Today, it's time to talk about Bacillus cereus and its famous or infamous food poisoning. It could have an emetic form, where you vomit, or a diarrheal form, where you have watery diarrhea, especially after you eat rice. When you're cooking your rice, you're killing the Bacillus cereus bacteria. However, the spores will survive your cooking. So, if you got your rice off the stove, but forgot to put it in the refrigerator, what's gonna happen? The spores will germinate under these favorable conditions. And now, if you eat that rice, boom, you can get any of these forms. Please watch the videos in this playlist in order. We talked about the gram-positive cocci before. Today, we're discussing a gram-positive bacillus. Bacillus cereus is indeed a gram-positive rod that is spore-forming, aerobic, and motile. And yes, indeed, bacillus cereus can make an endospore, especially under unfavorable conditions. But if the unfavorable became favorable conditions, now the bacteria will convert from spore back into the vegetative state and will divide like crazy. So if you eat that rice, you might have a problem. But hemidicosis, what's a spore? Well, I have a separate video about the topic of spores, so please watch it or pause and review. And again, Bacillus cereus is here. Pause and review. We have the emetic type or the diarrheal type of food poisoning caused by Bacillus cereus. What kind of toxin are we talking about? Exotoxin. Hey, Medicosis, I know why we called it Bacillus, because it looks like a rod. But why cereus? The word cereus means wax-like or wax colored or colored like wax because this is how these colonies appear on culture they appear as dull with a surface that looks like frosted glass bacillus cereus is gram positive rod spore forming and motile disease gastroenteritis explain we have emetic form where you vomit plus some nausea and cramps and diarrheal form where you have diarrhea again plus some nausea and cramps the emetic form is caused by a heat-stable toxin. The diarrheal form is heat-labile toxin. The toxin that is stable to heat is resistant to heat, so heat will not kill it, and it's also resistant to proteolysis, so proteolytic enzymes will not kill it. Hey, medicosis, I reheated my rice. Doesn't matter. Hey, medicosis, I have some proteolytic enzymes in my stomach. Does not matter. No one gives a rip you're gonna get some vomiting. The incubation period is less than six hours from the consumption of the rice. Is this a true infection or is this an intoxication? It's an intoxication because it's caused by the toxin, not by the bacteria Bacillus cereus. It's by the toxin made by the bacteria, not the bacteria itself. Does anyone remember staphylococcal toxic shock syndrome? Yeah, it was a disease caused by the staph toxin, not the staph bacteria, as we have discussed before in this glorious microbiology and infectious diseases playlist. Okay, medicosis, tell me about the diarrheal form. It's caused by heat labile toxin, very similar to the enterotoxin that is possessed by the Clostridium perfringens, E. coli, and Viria cholera. Notice that all of these doofuses cause watery diarrhea just like Bacillus cereus. Incubation period is longer than six hours. The signs and symptoms are mainly diarrhea, and the food is not rice this time, it's meat and vegetables. Is this an intoxication or a true infection? It's a true infection caused by ingestion of the bacteria itself. And that's why it takes longer, because this is not a readily formed toxin like this one. This is the actual bacteria, so it makes sense that it takes longer. Conversely, after you ate the fried rice, there was a preformed toxin, it took less time. See, medicine makes so much sense once you understand what the flip you're talking about. Hey, medicosis, let me ask you a question. Is gastroenteritis the only disease caused by Bacillus cereus? No, 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 no. You also have endophthalmitis or panophthalmitis, ocular infection, usually after trauma. Moreover, sepsis related to IV catheters or IV drug use, and in very rare cases, severe pneumonia, 
similar to the one caused by anthrax. Management, vancomycin, ciprofloxacin, clindamycin, or gentamicin. These are for the severe infections like the endophthalmitis, but for the diarrhea and vomiting, it's self-limiting, just conservative management. Give the patient what they need. Need fluid? Give them fluid. Now let's review Bacillus cereus characteristics from Picmonic. Bacillus cereus is a gram positive. Here is the angel. It's a rod. You see some rods here. It forms an endospore. Here is an endospore. Enterotoxins. Here's a toxic intestine caused by consumption of reheated rice or fried rice. We have two forms of Bacillus cereus disease. There is the emetic form and there is the diarrheal form. Emetic form one to six hours diarrheal form more than six hours for example eight to sixteen hours we're talking watery diarrhea not bloody diarrhea if you want to learn about vancomycin ciprofloxacin clindamycin and gentamicin i have a separate antibiotics course on my website medicosisperfectionalis.com i also have a surgery high yields course and an emergency medicine high yields course, also at medicosisperfectionalist.com. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.